Today I am working on the DC refrigeration system and what I'm going to be putting on it is a temperature controller which will be Arduino Pro Mini based. What's going to happen is I'm going to have a temperature sensor DS18B20 attached to the suction line so that the compressor throttle uh, the compressor will slow down as the temperature approaches zero Celsius. So, like any temperature above, say, uh, one degree Celsius, the compressor will be running at full speed. And uh, when the temperature reaches zero, say, I'll, I'll uh, be running just at idle very slowly. But in practice, I'll probably like have to have the compressor maybe at full speed at like two or three degrees Celsius. And when it gets down to zero that will that will be the lowest throttle point and it should be very very simple to program. To drive the compressor I'm using an electric bike controller into which I'm supplying uh, about 48 volts DC coming from a boost converter which is connected into the battery bank which is 24 volts. So what I'm doing just now is just making up the cable which the temperature sensor will go on the end of. I'll just get the temperature sensor just now. Uh, that's it there, DS18B20. And what's going to happen is I'm just going to solder the wire on the end of that and the pull down resistor, the 4.7K resistor, will just go somewhere on the Arduino itself. Also a low pass filter will be needed so that the PWM output of the Arduino gets converted into a reasonably steady voltage for the throttle because this is a varying voltage throttle so that means uh, the voltage for it to be stopped is zero and voltage for full speed is 5 volts so it should be easy enough to do uh, all I'm needing to do just now is get the Arduino programmed with a simple bit of code and then we'll give it a test. So here's what I've got so far. This has now been tested. The DS18B20 sensor is connected and it was reading temperatures over the serial monitor no problem. So here's what we've got on the bottom. That's how I've wired it up. We've got the DS18B20 data pin on to pin 2 and that is connected with a 4.7k resistor pull up resistor to the 5 volt supply which in this case can actually come from the the throttle connector on the controller itself so this is going to be just a simple module that will just basically plug into the throttle and that will be it hopefully I've just got to write the program and obviously We've got our ground wire going to ground. And here's the sensor all soldered together on the other end. Just like that. That's what I'll do is encapsulate just the bottom part of it in hot metal glue. And then I'll use thermal adhesive to glue this to the suction line of the compressor. Okay, so here's where I'm up to now. I've finally got the Arduino programmed and all set up and it has actually been powered off the throttle connector on the controller so I'm going to connect the power um, what, what I've got basically is just the temperature sensor attached just to the evaporator uh, pretty close to the inlet of the evaporator actually so I can get quicker feedback uh, but there is a problem uh, somewhere because when the temperature gets too cold too quickly the whole thing shuts off and it doesn't come back on again That's on now Compressor started And basically what will happen is As the temperature decreases we should see the power decreasing here uh, this watt meter is 3 volts higher, it's reading 3 volts higher than it is. Don't buy these, they're crap. So what should happen is the power should start dropping as the temperature decreases. Uh, 
Hopefully she'll start doing it any time now. Here we go. So, and, and this is basically what it does. Uh, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll need to do anything else to the code because, uh, if I put the sensor on the return, the temperatures won't be jumping about as rapidly, so it probably stabilise and work okay. But then again, there's maybe something not correct for my low pass filter, which is basically just a resistor and a capacitor. I've got a 10k resistor and a 100 nanofarad capacitor, which forms a low pass filter, so we get a more e even stable voltage going to the controller. Uh, but yeah, this is basically all there is to it. The system seems to be working uh, rather nicely now, apart from that. That one little bug. Well, I'm not sure what I can do about that. Might just play around with capacitor and resistor values. I think now it's near the point at which is being beginning to get unstable because when the PWM is at a very very low duty cycle. Uh, I think the low pass filter is struggling to keep the voltage even going to the controller so uh, eventually it just kind of confuses the controller and then it shuts down due to safety. Uh, it's running really slowly now. It's only doing about what, 30 watts or so. If it's to run very much slower, that's when it starts uh, going unstable and shutting off, but um, I think I'll work on it a bit more. Um, but hopefully it shouldn't need much more work, it'll just be a case of moving that temperature sensor over to the suction inlet and then just insulating it. It'll probably work, no problem.